Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mod tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to be getting our tree to generate in the world. So let's get started. Now inside of your world package, you can either put it in feature.tree if you want, or gen as we're going to be generating it in the world. I'm going to put it in the gen here. So put tutorial tree gen, and just like the tutorial or gen, it's going to implement I will generator which all it has in it is the generate function firstly we have to create a variable to specify which tree wants to generate private final world generator then the name of it which is going to be tutorial in all caps then is equal to a new and then your tutorial tree class so I'm going to put world gen tutorial tree so here we are specifying that the world generator called tutorial is our tree then we are obviously going to need the generate function so add that in and make it one line and it's obviously going to be exactly the same as the or gen switch world dot provider dot get dimension case minus one sorry case one break case zero break and case minus one and you do not need a break after this as it's the last one if you want to generate your tree in the overworld then put case zero here and here is where we need to call our run generator function which we're going to have to create it's only a private function that we call so private void run generator and then the variables we're going to need the world generator so the thing that we are going to use to generate, which is obviously going to be our world gen tutorial tree. So, world generator, generator. We're going to need the actual world. So, world, world. We're going to need a randomized number. So, random, random. Then we are going to need the chunk x and chunk z. Int chunk x and int chunk z. Then we're going to need the chance it's going to spawn. Double chances to spawn this is actually different to the normal chance to spawn for ours this is the number of trees that can generate per chunk and then we will use a randomizer to decide if it is either don't generate or generate this amount of trees we're going to need the minimum and maximum height that it's going to generate int min height and int max height and we're going to need a class then put triangle brackets question mark dot 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 and put biome this is the biome that it can generate in then inside of our generate function we're going to call the run generator function the world generator is tutorial then world random chunk x chunk z chances to spawn most of the time you don't want anything more than two. I'm just going to put most of that's most of the time. I'm gonna put three as we definitely want to figure out if our tree is spawning. If it's not spawning and it's three here, then it's something clearly wrong. The minimum height is going to be minus one, and the maximum height is going to be zero. And the biome here, I'm just going to call biome just you can call it any biome. I'm just going to call biome planes for now. But of course, once we create our own biome, we can put our own biome here. What we actually want here is just to actually not put biome and just put classes like that. As this is, um, this can be multiple different biomes and we're actually going to create a different biome variable later in the run generator function. But say you want to generate in two biomes, just put a comma and put another biome. Firstly, a checker, if 
chances to spawn is less than one if random dot next double is less than chances to spawn chances to spawn is equal to one else chances to spawn is equal to zero so we that we check will it does it want to spawn or does it not want to now spawn? an array list so put array list of class question mark and this is going to be the list of classes put classes list is equal to a new array list of class with a question mark arrays dot as list classes remove the import that it's ultimately created and hover over arrays and make sure it's java.util and then arrays to as list classes should work int height diff is equal to max height minus min height plus one and now for int i is equal to zero i is less than chances to spawn i plus plus block pos pos a new block pos with a double x double y and double z x is chunk x so we get the chunk it's in multiply it by 16 as a chunk is a 16 by 16 area plus 10 plus a random dot next int of 15 the y is minimum height plus a random dot next int of height diff and then chunk z is the same as chunk x just copy chunk x but change it to chunk z multiply by 16 plus 10 plus random next ne ne in 15 and this is what where it, this is calculating where it's going to spawn if min height is less than zero pos is equal to world dot get height of pos class question mark called biome so the biome class is equal to world dot provider dot get biome for cowards pos dot get class if classes list dot contains biome or class is dot length is equal to zero generator dot generate world random pos and that's it so we run the generator here we have three so it's going to spawn three three trees per chunk which is a lot so you won't realize how much it, that actually is but if that number was less than one so if it was zero it may it has a random chance a very small chance of still generating one but else it will just spawn none then we get the list of biomes we get the height diff and then we run this code for the amount of times we need to spawn them we get the position of where they're going to spawn which is a random place in the chunk we make sure that there's nothing out of bounds so less than zero then we get the biome that we want to spawn in by getting the biome for the coordinates of where you want to spawn and then if the list of biomes has that biome in it or there's nothing to generate in the first place then we will generate as if there's nothing to generate then nothing will generate anyway and then we'll generate whatever tree we want to generate this needs to be world for some reason i haven't put it in here tutorial world random chunk x chunk z three minus one zero biome planes or if you're watching this in the future you can put your custom bio going to util no not util sorry handlers registry handler just below tutorial all gen tutorial tree gen what do we need to create the register function 
just shove it at the bottom here. Public static void register. Put game registry. Dot register world generator. New tutorial tree gen. Zero. Then in registry handler, call tutorial tree gen dot register and save. Now we're going to have to create a new world. So run your game. As you can see, we have found a planes biome and it's no longer really a planes biome. It is completely full of my tree because we have set it to generate three per chunk. Also, I highly do not recommend doing this, especially with big trees like this, as it will cause severe world, world generation lag, especially if you're running with other mods. So if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more videos. You can check out the playlist link at the in the end of this video or in the description down below to follow the rest of the tutorials, including the the biome tutorials as well, where I'm, we are building up to building our biome and the dimension and so many other things that we're going to be putting inside of that. I'm just trying to implement everything into this one thing. I might be doing custom sounds, a command to teleport into the dimension, so leave a like on the video if you're excited for that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. My name's been Harry, and goodbye.